What's going on you guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a free YouTube banner using an amazing tool called Canvas. So Canva can be used to create a whole bunch of different things like a YouTube banner, a YouTube thumbnail, Instagram story posts, all kinds of different posts, man. It's it's a really useful tool and you can do most of these things for free, but there is a paid version or a paid you know, there are paid features that you can actually use as well but you don't need to use that you can get away with using just the free version if you're interested in learning about this to up your creative game make sure to stick around for this video right here and let's get right to it y'all okay so the first thing you want to do in this tutorial is open up canva once you have it open up you want to make sure that you're signed in or sign up so just use one of your Google or Facebook accounts it's what I've got here it's one of my Google accounts and then go ahead to templates on the left right here choose YouTube channel art open that up and then you have different options so you have pre-made templates that you can work you can work off of so I'm not gonna be working with any of these you can always choose one and just change like the title and stuff like that change the name it's super easy nothing crazy or you can create a blank YouTube template and make it more personalized so that's what we're gonna be doing in this one okay now we have our blank template the first thing you want to do is you want to add a background so it's super easy to do that as well. So just go over to background. They have some pre-made backgrounds that you can work with. Just make sure it's the free ones that you're selecting. So I'm going to select the white background. I like a white background because it works well with, you know, the kind of text I'm going to use, which is going to be on a darker side. Another option you could do if you didn't want any of these, you know, pre-made backgrounds here is you could go over to unsplash.com. They provide a lot of high quality and freely usable images so you can just go ahead and search for what you're looking for so let's say you're in the food industry and you just type in the word food so you search it up and then you can just download one of these just download them right there right quickly I'm just gonna do that and then you can just pull it in here then you go over to uploads over here and then you just pull in whatever you want so anything you need to work with you're gonna just upload through here so I'm gonna upload one uh, thing right here go to your device and I'm gonna pull in the food. So the food we just got, I'm gonna upload that. As you can see, it's being uploaded. So this is if you didn't wanna use one of the pre-made backgrounds, you know, by uh, Canva. Okay, that's done. So I'm gonna click it once just to pull it in and then hold down Alt and drag on one of the corners or one of the ends to expand it. So that's how you're gonna get it to fit the entire screen and then you can then apply or add different things to it. If you want me to make another video explaining how to do stuff like this, let me know down in the comments section. But we're gonna go back to the one of the default backgrounds that we're working with already and I'm gonna delete this. So I'm gonna remove that picture from there. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our text. So I'm gonna add a heading first. You can change the, the, the font type. So there's a few ones here that they already have for you for free and they also have some that are paid. Anything with a crown here is paid. And you can always upload your own font as well, but that's also a paid feature, but we're not gonna be doing all that stuff. So I'm gonna choose one from right here. I think Gagolin looks good to me. It looks very cartoony, so I think I'll work with that. So I'm gonna change the name to Fit by Midas. Okay, that looks really good to me. I'm just gonna increase the size a little bit for now. Uh, and to do that, just hold down Alt and pull on one of the corners. I'll just leave it at that for a bit and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, add an effect to this text to you know make it pop just a little bit more. So I'm going to go to effects. There's a lot of different effects you can add. Shadow will give it a shadow. A lift will give it more of like a, uh, I don't even know what, what, what you would call it, but it's, it's, it's softer than a shadow. A shadow is more of a shadow. This one is more of just like, it's just smoother is what it looks like. So and then there's splice, you know, hollow, echo, all these different things that you can try. Go crazy with it, man. I'm just gonna go with some shadow right there. You can always edit, you know, different parameters of the shadow as well. So offset, you can change that, it increases the size is what it looks like, the direction and stuff like that. So if you want, if you want to, don't want it going downwards, you want to go with sideways, or, it depends on you, man. Everybody's different. So go with what, whatever works for you. The transparency is another thing. And the color, finally, you can change the color of, you know, just the shadow, just the shadow itself. If you want to change the color of the text, you have to do that by clicking this text color button right here so just click that and you can change the different colors so whatever you want whatever works for your channel but I'm gonna be going with black because that's just easy and simple it works off of this background I'm gonna add a subheading for the subheading I'm just gonna say new videos weekly I'm gonna try to keep all the fonts kind of the same across the entire thing it's just a thing that I like you can always have different fonts it's just you you, you can do whatever you want and I'm gonna try to resize this just a tad bit. Right there is okay for me, and I'm gonna pull it all the way to the top, over top the main text, and I'm gonna add 
another one. This time it's going to be a, a little bit of body text. And then I'm gonna put in here, I'm gonna put uh, what the channel is about. So I'm gonna say free home workouts and gym training. Okay, I'm gonna pull that downwards as well and have it right there. I'm gonna pull on the side so it's longer and instead of uh, taller and then uh, sh place this or reposition this right underneath the text as well and then center it right there. So uh, you can always change the text right here, make it a different color or make it bolder, which is what I'm gonna do, gonna do right here. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna make it bolder. I'm just gonna change the font type to uh, work with the rest of the other ones. So as you can see right there, everything looks the same. Works perfectly for me. I, sometimes I just kind of like everything to kind of just match up. It's just, you know, the design, is the, the style and the, the consistency works great. So next thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and add a picture. So a, a side picture right here. If you're not interested in adding a side picture and this is okay for you and you just wanna learn how to upload or download this and then upload it to your YouTube channel, just skip to the uh, timestamp on the screen right now. Just a simple image of yourself, something right there just adds, you know, a little bit of personality to this entire banner. Uh, what you're gonna have to do next is you're gonna have to go ahead and down, uh, you know import a transparent image, a PNG image, an image that you can just place and it, it doesn't bring the background with it. So in order to, if you have a picture that you, you wanna just take off the background off of, just make sure it's a clear and clean photo. So I'm gonna show you guys a website right now where, or that I use to do this uh, for free. So I'll go over to remove.bg, right there. Okay, so once you're here, uh, what you want to do is just upload your image. It's very simple uh, and then just it pu you pull it in. Once you upload it, it, it just takes the background off. As you can see, I already have mine in here. It even remembers your last work. So this is the original picture just so you guys get an idea of what I was working with. There's not a bunch of distractions. It's just me and the background. And just go to the removed background and just download it. So just download it right there. Do not download the HD version or you'd have to pay for it. So just go for the regular version. Once you have this image downloaded, what you want to do is go back to your... Um, banner right here and just import it. So go to your uploads, upload media, and just look for it. So right there, I've got mine. Okay, as you can see, it's uploaded now. All you have to do now to get it in is just click on it. But before that, before we bring it in, what we're gonna do is make sure that this is all centered properly. To get this text and everything to be all centered properly and show across multiple devices, I'm talking tablet, phone, um, TV, and desktop, you know, computer or whatever, so what you wanna do is go ahead and download the banner template guide that I've placed down in the description below. So go ahead and download that and then come back uh, and import it, upload it in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload mine right away because I already have mine downloaded right there, banner templates.jpg, so it's just a picture. Once you have it imported, what you wanna do is click on it once to, to place it on the canvas and then hold down Alt and just pull on one corner. Pull on one corner until it fits the entire screen. So now we can see what we're working with. So we want all, all of our text and our picture, everything that you want that's important to you, you want it to be within this first uh, rectangle right here. So from this point to this point. This point shows on a uh, tablet, so it shows from this point all the way to this point on a tablet, and then shows from this point all the way to this point on a desktop. Finally, it shows all the entire thing. So the entire banner is shown on a TV, 2560 by 1440. So let's just pull these uh, around, just re you know, kind of so they're within where we want them to be. I'm gonna move them all the way to the, to the right because I need to pull in the picture as well. So I'm gonna pull in a picture by clicking on it one time, just once, that's all. So you want to apply it now. The, the, you don't apply the picture before, you apply it after you have this uh, banner template guide on here. So, and then we resize this by holding down Alt, pulling down on one corner and resizing all the way to whatever works best for you. So just make sure it's within this black area right here. So I'm gonna resize mine just a tad bit more. Right there works pretty well for me. Maybe I'll increase it just a little bit and then I'll pull it downwards. I'm just gonna make sure everything else is within and uh, aligned properly. So you make sure that the subtexts and the subheading match up with the main text in the center as well. So just follow the pink lines. The pink lines will direct you for vertical and horizontal accuracy. So once you're within these two parameters right here, you're pretty much good to go. We're gonna delete the background here and it's going to give us a white background. It just goes to a default background. And then to fix that, we're gonna go back to background and just reapply our background. That's all you have to do. And now we have our banner completed. So all we have to do now is export this and we're done. So to do that, you just hit on download at the top right corner, big white button and just download. So it's already suggested what you wanna download it as a PNG 
and just download. So as you can see, new videos weekly.png, that's the name of my banner, it's been downloaded. I'm gonna head over onto YouTube right now and show you guys how to upload it. So you click on your channel name at the top here and then all you have to do is go to your, uh, your channel and then customize video or customize channel right there. And once you're here, you go to Brandon, open that up and then scroll down to banner image. And then you click change or add, depending on if you already have one there or if you're just, you know, adding a new one there. So just change it. I'm gonna add the newest one, so new videos weekly. And as you can see, it places it exactly the way we, we you know, made it on Canva. So make sure, make sure that you do it according to the way that banner is or the banner template guide is and just hit done and you're pretty much done with this so it's gonna change it in a second as you can see that's my banner I'm gonna hit publish and then view channel so we can see what it looks like so it would have changed by now if it hasn't changed yet just give it a second so I'm gonna go to channel and I know you guys can see this right now new videos weekly this is a really sick banner at least to me especially if you're a starter and not sure where you're going with things this looks pretty good to me so I hope you guys found this one useful right here if you enjoyed it make sure to give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new to my channel if you want to see some more videos like this one make sure to check out the video on the screen right now and I'll catch y'all in my next video it's your boy Midas and I'm out of here y'all